Well, good morning and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So this morning I put all the poodle puppies outside in a kennel. I'm hoping they play and leave me alone. And I can give you some pictures of them. They're doing super good. We still have four available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the microchip numbers and give you some close-up pictures. Um, all the Merles are sold except for the chocolate Merle. So the puppy that's going to Tennessee that is sold is out here. It's the blue Merle running across there. He's a phantom. He's doing super good. I'm going to give him a bath today. I'm going to shoot some new pictures so you can see him close up if I can get him to hold still on the table. His points are really showing out really well. He's really turning into a pretty baby. Uh, the Let's see, the other one that's sold is right here below me, and this one's going to Oregon. And he is like my shadow. He's like, just get me and pay attention to me. But he is the biggest one in the litter. I we weighed him the other day, and he was nine pounds. And he's just he's just doing great. All right, let's see who else out here. The female out here is oh gosh, you know what? She's the one without the collar. She's right here. There's a good view of her. And this one's going to Oklahoma, so the chocolate merle female is sold. And she's going, oh, she does have her collar back on. She's got a purple collar on. And she's going to Oklahoma. And let's see, so that's the three there. And then there is a phantom female, but unfortunately, I didn't bring her down here with me, so let me go grab her. All right, so now we put them all back together. I had taken the two girls up last night and given them a bath and forgot to bring them back down. <laughs> I left them inside with us in the kennel. So the two females in here, uh, there is, they are both phantoms and the one that is sold has got the light pink collar on and she's running right out across the back over there. And there you can see that light pink collar. You can see her size compared to the big guy. So, big difference in those two. But the four puppies in here that are sold um, are the 7277, which is the Phantom going to Indiana, 1766, which is going to Tennessee, 1768, which is the Chocolate Merle, is going out to Oklahoma to actually be with one of our other poodles. They have a full sister to the mother of this litter. So, uh, they're the ones that bought the little chocolate female. I still have a couple baths to do in here and faces to do. Um, and 1765 is the one that's going to Oregon. And she actually emailed me pictures of her poodles and they're beautiful. So he's going to what looks like a great home to live in the mountains. So the ones we still have available, these guys are sitting here below me barking. These two are both available. So there's the phantom female with uh, the hot pink collar on and it's hard to get that collar to show up with them there you can barely see it and uh, the blue merle male out here let's see where did he go he is right and he's right beside the chocolate merle you can you just kind of see his butt let me get it there he goes there it comes the chocolate merle is still available he does not have brown points there he is. And the chocolate Merle male is still available, and he's laying here over on the ground chewing on a pig ear. So the chocolate Merle male, let me give you microchip numbers on these two. All right, so I guess let me give you microchip numbers first. The chocolate Merle male has a bright neon orange collar, and he is 1767. There is a picture of him on our website. Uh, I have not trimmed his face for about... 10 days, so today he gets his bath, face trimmed. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some new pictures on the website today. If I don't get them finished today, I promise I'll have them on by tomorrow. Uh, we have a birthday party this afternoon for a grandchild, so I don't know how long I'm gonna have to work, and two people are coming to pick up puppies. So, the other one is the Blue Merle. He is the 7278, and he's over there walking towards us in the center. 
And then there's the Brindle Phantom. You know, it's hard to tell you how I'm going to shave his face today. But he's the big, rusty, red-colored puppy. He looks just like Matrix did when he was little. And Matrix turned Brindle. Um, this guy, when I shave the tail, uh, base of his tail, he looks like he's got Brindle stripes on that tail. So my best guess to tell you is he is going to turn Brindle. That's my best guess. But today, when I give him a bath, shave his face, um, and he does have phantom markings, but I don't know if those phantom markings on his legs and face are going to stay once he turns. So, um, there are pictures of Matrix. If you are seeing this on YouTube and you're wondering about these guys, if you go to our website, it's the best place to go. There's a really good picture. Oh, he moved. The blue Merle was sitting here looking right at me. But, um... The website has more information on the litter. There's pictures of mom and dad at the bottom. Matrix is also for sale. We are not going to raise standard uh, or the Moyen cross poodles anymore. Um, I'm trying to downsize. I don't want to say I'm getting older, but <clears throat> that 65 has come looming pretty quickly. And it's getting a lot for me to be able to put these guys up on a groom table. So I really am going to cut down on all my big ones. Uh, five of our standards are gone. We have Gypsy and we have Crystal left. So um, that little one says, don't pick on me, big guy. So Matrix is available. I'm going to, I think he's actually on Puppy Find. Um, I have to update his listing so it moves him a little closer back to the front. And there is a possibility we're going to sell Gypsy. Uh, I'm not sure yet. She's the mother to this litter. So um, if you have any questions on these guys or on Matrix or on Gypsy, you're more than welcome to give me a call. If you do not find their pictures, uh, their video of, I guess it's a rotating picture of mom and dad on the website, uh, if you go to the gents and ladies page, you'll find them on there. Uh, there's the little one. Here comes. This is the one that's going to Indiana. She's got the light pink collar on. She's, she's a running back and forth out there. It's been a great bunch of puppies. Um, we are not quitting. We're just downsizing. There's a really good picture of the Phantom Merle. We are going to strictly go down to poodles that are... I don't want to say 30, but I want to say 27 or 25 and under. Much easier for me to pick up and groom. Um, I am keeping the three females from the miniature uh, cross that I've got right now. Uh, we're only going to sell the boys. We're going to keep the three girls. So they're going to be my replacements for my big girls. But I love my big dogs. It's just, you know what, when you start to get older, they get a little harder to, to groom and get up on the table. I'm trying to get you some candid pictures of each one of these guys. Their, their dad um, is very outgoing. He's very social. The grandpa was wonderful, and the grandma was wonderful to this litter. Uh, Glory and Ruger were probably two of the best dogs I ever owned. Laid back, easy going. Just really, really cool dogs. There's a picture of the two chocolate merles together. And the boy is on the bottom of that argument. These guys are current on everything they can have. They do come with their, uh, both the parents are DNA tested. Um, they're AKC registered. If you are looking for a pet puppy only, they will be spayed and neutered before they go home by laser. I know, Miss Yappy. Look back up here. This is the little family female that's still available. She's got a big white chest, pink collar. She's got all the phantom trim. She's got all the gingerbread. So hopefully today uh, we'll have some better pictures on the website and you'll be able to see them really good. This Big majestic guys sitting there watching this. Tell you what, I'd love to keep them all. That'd be insane, but they're such a cool litter of puppies. And their mom is really, really a nice laid back lady. So I'm hoping 
that these guys turn out the same as their mom and dad. There's the one that's going to Oklahoma. I know you're barking at me because I'm right in front of you. I know, bud. You need your face trim, buddy. Okay. Well, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get this on. I've got some people coming in this morning. So, uh, but I wanted to get you a current video. I really promised to get you some updated pictures. And I'm not sure how great they'll be with them sitting on a table, but we'll try. And we may put them in the yard and just shoot some candid pictures in the shade. Whichever keeps my sanity the easiest. Okay, you two. I see ya. You can see the difference between the trim face and the one that needs trim. I know. Alright, have a great weekend. Hope everybody likes the video. Please call me if you have questions. And if you're looking at this and want more answers, please go to the website. It is listed below the video. And I hope you have a great weekend.